Hey guys, so as promised, here is our complete workflow on PixInsight. So this is exactly the step we do ourselves for all of our images. So it's going to be straight to the point. We're going to assume you already have some knowledge on PixInsight, so you won't go into details too much. And you will see it's pretty easy actually. So for this, we are going to use our Pix of M78 which we only have one hour and 15 minutes I think on it so it's going to be a real challenge Speaking of challenges, down below you'll find a link to download our files for you to do on PixInsight or your own program and see what you can do to make it maybe even better than how we did it and be sure to upload those images onto Instagram with the hashtag M78GalacticHunter and we'll put all of those images on our website Yep, so let's get started and um this will be in three parts. Part one will be stacking the images. Part two will be uh, the whole PixInsight workflow. And part three will be after PixInsight. What can we do with other softwares to enhance the image even more? So let's go. We have a whooping one hour and 20 minutes of data on M78. This is very low for such a dark nebula as we were aiming for 6 hours, but crazy desert winds came to ruin everything. But you know what? It's okay. It's going to be a real challenge. And it might even be more interesting for you to watch me struggle to get a good final image. Let's get stacking! Okay, so we're gonna start with checking our files. So, I was aiming for 6 hours, but crazy wind came. And as you can see, like my camera was moving all over the place and stuff. Um, so I only could do one hour and a few minutes. First what I'm doing is I'm trying to see uh, which frames I don't like uh, so I can delete them. I already did that before, so I think I'm gonna keep all of those. Although there is some with like a very small star, star trail, um, I'm going to keep them because of how, you know, I don't have many files. I only have an hour and some, so I'm gonna go with it and just stack everything and if it's bad then we'll try again we'll see um, and also what I'm gonna do is try to find a friend that I like so that one is pretty good you know it's pretty that one is pretty good it's number 90 yep 90 so okay so let's go and type pics inside um, and if you don't want to do this through your computer you can just use blink and load your files in this and you will uh, see all your frames like you know you can use the arrows to go down and see all your frames really quick so as you can see my single shots are pretty bad I mean they're very noisy there are, there are some star trails oh, it's really bad um, I actually kind of want to delete that one I don't think I'm gonna keep oh, there's a few like that because there's a few that have like really bad star trails but you know what, let's try anyway, um, let's risk it. Because if I delete them, then I'm gonna have nothing left almost, so... Alright, let's try. So I'm gonna close this blink, since I already did this prior to the video. And now that I have the file that I want to stack, uh, we can use a script. We're gonna use a batch pre-processing script, which is awesome. Uh, normally there is four steps, as you can see here. I just show you just in case. Normally you have to do each of those steps one by one in order to stack your images. But thanks to, I don't know who made the script, but thanks to you, uh, we have the batch pre-processing script right here that will help us and save us so much time. But just in case you don't want to use the script, uh, you can simply use uh, those four manually. And I mean, you don't even have to use Drizzle, but I would say you should. Um, and if you don't have any darks and bias, you could just use star alignment and image integration and just stack your lights so you can see what it looks like really quick, you know, just for a test. But um, yeah, anyway, for the sake of this video, I'm going to use um, what I usually do, you know, and go to script, batch preprocessing, oh, batch processing, and batch preprocessing. Now here, we want to add our lights, so I'm going to go to add lights. And we're going to find our files. I'm going to add all of my uh, raw files. Then I'm going to move to BIOS. I'm going to add my BIOS frames. Uh, it's 
slightly called bias. I just want to add 15, that's what I usually do. Um, let's see, is that 15? 16. Okay, hopla, and then darks. Yeah, I usually do 12 to 15 bias and darks. You can use more if you want to, but that's how I like it. Okay. So we have 15 bias, 15 darks, and off lights, which I think is like 20 something. And then we want to check, generate, uh, result data. You don't have to, but I will show you later why you should. You really, really should. So just trust me on this and just check uh, drizzle. And then right here, we're going to have to pick the image we wanted, which was, I believe, uh, number 90. And then last step, output directory, we're going to use the same right here. We can just make a new folder if you want, like M78 um, processing files. Okay. We're going to press, run. there we go. It's telling you you don't have any flat frames. I know it's a shame. I don't have any flat frames, but it's okay. It will be fine. Let's go. So once it's done, you can close this. Uh, and we're going to uh, go to File, Open, and we're going to find the master. Uh, so as you can see, it created a master bias, a master dark, and a master light. We care about the master light. Okay, um, you can take a look at the rejection maps if you want to. So there was three satellites or planes here, and those frames were rejected by the script. And here is just the corners. And what we care about is this one here. So if we stretch the image, we can see. Uh, oh, by the way, if your image just looks very green, you can either check or uncheck this chain here and see. So just okay, do it like this, so it's normal. And uh, oh, it's pretty good, actually. Kind of surprised. Mm. It looks pretty good. Um, it's not the best, but there's some details here. I like this star here. The, the gas around this star is pretty good. All right, there's some potential in here. <laughs> um, so, remember, we did drizzle. So, we don't want this image, actually. Although it looks cool, we don't want it. So, for now, let's put it aside. What we want is to go to uh, image integration. What's happening here? Okay, image integration. We're going to add. Um, we're going to add our registered files. So we have our drizzle files and our regular files. So those are the regular files. Then you go to add drizzle files, and those ones ending in x drizzle are the drizzle files. So we're going to add those, and we're going to launch. Oh wait. Usually I do rinse sigma clipping here, uh, just because the first time I tried this uh, processing, I I used rinse and I loved it, so it worked like a charm. So why not? I just kept doing rinse -rized. So let's do rinse -rized. It's going to take a while, but it's going to be worth it. So once this is done, you go to Drizzle Integration, which is the last step. So we add the file, we're going to add only the Drizzle file this time. So we only add the drill files, we don't change anything here, and we launch this instance. So once this is done, um, I just closed all the instances and I renamed my file M78 master with drizzle, so it's really clear what it is. Um, and so here is our version of, of this one, you know, the same thing, but with drizzle. So, if we stretch the image, you will see there is almost no difference at first glance. So, as you can see... Now... Okay. There is, you know, there is no difference. Um, but if you zoom in, so let's pick a star. Let's go with the one I like right here. So, if we zoom in on this star... I'm gonna try to match the same zoom. Looks like it. Let's go one more time. All right, so as you can see, there's a pretty big difference, right? Um, 
without drizzle, your stars will look pixelized and not even round. Like this doesn't look round at all. It looks like a square. Um, but with drizzle, look, look at the difference. It's so clear. It's so round and. It's so magnificent. <laughs> so you really want to use drizzle uh, for your stacking, especially if you have a lot of um, bright stars and you know just many stars in general. You won't notice a thing if you don't zoom in. But once someone zooms in, it's gonna be like this guy did not use drizzle. So, <laughs> so we're going to delete this master file here. We don't want it anymore, and make sure you save this one because it does not save by itself. So save as, uh, make sure you're not in JPEG, oh? be in XISF, and you can just put it anywhere you want, but we're gonna, okay, this is already name, and just save it anywhere. All right, that's done. So this is the master file we're going to use. And as you can see, there is some potential in there, I mean, I'm actually really surprised that with just an arrow and something, we get this stacked image, you know, with lots of details, thanks to the great dark skies of Nevada. Um, I mean, there is not some noise, but we'll be fine. I mean, yeah, I'm really impressed. Um, I still have the thing, it's really annoying. But um, yeah, let's move on to part two now. And yeah, that's going to be our image. So let's work on it. I'll see you for part two.